Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this very special video. Um, I do find myself saying that more and more these days, but this is a very special video. It is a high five video um, and uh, well, it's a high five to all of you because it's a bit of a celebration. The channel is literally on the verge, fingers crossed, 24 hours, 40 hours away from hitting 1 million views. <laughs> So to celebrate, I wanted to do this video where I go through and tell you exactly what I've done uh, to you know, help the channel achieve that. Um, also a big, big thank you to everyone that has subscribed because the channel is um, on over 5,000 subs. As I do this, it's on over 6,000 actually. Um, and again, I think the channel's been going for about eight to nine months. Um, I'm gonna tell you how I've done it. So at number one, you need to watch my first video. I've put a link in the description below and this is not me just trying to get you to watch related content of mine. The points that are in that video are 100% true. That is exactly what I did to get to a thousand subscribers. You need to follow that to a T if you want to follow my path. Um, if you've not watched that one, then uh, you're going to miss out on all the kind of foundation stuff um, and yeah, this will help, of course this will help, but uh, you need to watch that one first. As I said, I've put a link in the description below. If you do want to grow your channel, really do recommend that you check that out and then take on board the points um, that get mentioned in this one. Okay, so number two, thumbnails. This was a game changer for me. Um, I only had the option of picking from three random images uh, from the video that YouTube uh, generated um, but when I enabled uh, my videos to go longer than 15 minutes for some reason it then also allowed me to create my own thumbnails I don't know if I pressed the wrong button or whatever but I had a video I forget which one that I just could not edit down any further I couldn't get it below 15 minutes and I um, enabled uh, the 15 minutes uh, plus. Uh, YouTube then, for whatever reason, started allowing me to upload my own thumbnails. And as I said, that, that was an absolute game changer. I could then make, you know, uh, engaging thumbnails and thumbnails that kind of better reflected, I don't know, maybe the, the entertainment value of the video. You know, there were some thumbnails that were getting automatically generated that just had you know an image of me just you know, looking glum and and I'd like to think that's not a reflection of the video it might be that I was like this figure's just not very good it's a six out of ten and then lo and behold that's the image that YouTube captures um, that's not what you really want as a thumbnail that's not going to bring people into your content so enabling that enabled me to then create thumbnails which I just do on my Android phone there's an app that I use called PixArt just allows me to take my pictures uh, from my camera and edit them I can drop text on top or I can copy on other pictures or it's, it's a very basic kind of app um, but yeah it's that that was a game changer for me at number three playlists now playlists are really important. It brings organization to your channel. Um, this channel, for example, has got over 350 videos. And uh, you know, if you want people to be able to find content that's similar, you need to put it into playlists. So I have a playlist that's like Mattel figure reviews, and then there's one for toy hunts, and then there's one for raw reviews, and then there's one for SmackDown reviews, and then there's one for NXT, cruiserweights, uh, the pay-per-views, so on, so on, so on. So everything has got a playlist, which means that it's nicely organized, but more important than that, it means that if you watch a video that's in a playlist, chances are the recommended videos will be other videos from that playlist. So it means that if someone is watching your content, they should, hopefully, fingers crossed, also be getting recommended other videos that are similar and what's going to be better than more of your content. So um, it's it's just another way really of getting people to kind of explore the channel, explore the other videos that you've made. If you just have individual videos, then the recommended videos at the side 
will more than likely be other people's channels. The other thing as well is that playlists actually show up when you search in the in the web, the YouTube like search. So if you search for um, uh, a video, say uh, figure reviews, WWE figure reviews, then all the wrestling days individual ones will show, but so will the playlist. And so it's just another opportunity that someone might have just to click on and and then be able to watch all of those figure reviews number four and this is a big one utilize your search so you want your videos to show up when you when they search for it so you need to make sure that your title and the tags that you apply if you're not using tags you really need to start thinking about tags for example on my toy hunts when I put up a toy hunt video in the tags, which I don't think are visible, I don't know if they are, but in the in the tags part of it, when I upload the video, I will always put toys, hunting, wrestling, figure, figures, shop, shopping, because someone could jump on and go uh, uh, WWE Mattel shop, and then hopefully my video would show. Someone could go. WWE Mattel wrestling figures same video will hopefully show because those words they're searching for are in are in the tags if you're just putting up here's my toy hunt you're not utilizing the search and that means there's an awful lot of people that could be missing out on your videos and at number five arguably the most important work hard it is hard hard work because not only have you got to plan a video, record a video, edit a video, upload a video, but then you know you need to respond to people as well. If people are taking time to watch your content and comment, they deserve to hear from you as well, you know, even if it's just a thank you. Um, so you have to do all of that. Um, as well as that, you know, playlists, managing that content, uh, making sure you've put the right tags on it, making sure the title is correct, making sure you've got a nice description, um, making sure then that you maintain uh, your Twitter and Facebook and any messages that come through. And then you might have something additional that you need to manage. Like at the moment, we've got the Subscribers Hall of Fame, which is another kind of side project that I'm, I'm working on and, and managing. Um, so there's an awful lot that has to be maintained it's not as simple as recording a video, uploading a video, where's my million subs? It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. And as well, you know, subscribers are absolutely fantastic. You know, I, I, I love it. I've become addicted uh, to watching that, you know, grow because it's, all, it's already exceeded my expectations. So now I always look at it and every day it just puts a smile on my face because it's just like, oh, it's gone up another 50. I can't, I can't believe it. Um, and so, you know, I'm really appreciative for that. The success of a channel from YouTube, though, is really measured by watch time. You know, that's kind of how you get paid, if you will. Um, it's done on views and it's done on how long those views stuck around for. Um, it's, it's nothing to do with your subscribers. So subscribers help massively because they're people that are interested in your content. There's a high likelihood that they will return, but um, that's not the be all and end all. Um, so you have to really just keep in mind that, you know, if you're getting a lot of views, uh, but you don't have that many subs, it's all right. It's all right. You're doing some up right and the subs will come eventually. Cool, guys. I hope you found some of that, you know, informative. Um, it's it you know this has been is a wrestling channel always will be a wrestling channel but i know some of you might have different youtube channels and uh same rules just apply straight across the board you know it will help uh help any of your channels you might have a knitting channel you might have a you know i don't know a channel where you just film yourself sleeping but uh yeah, the same rules apply, same rules apply. So massive thank you from me. Um, really do appreciate the support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, goes without saying, I really would appreciate it if you would. Could, if you enjoyed the video, if you found anything in there informative, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, were to give it a like as well, because uh, that's another area I've just started kind of looking at. I never really did anything with likes before, but um yeah it's just it's nice to see what videos are more popular and so yeah that'd be massively appreciated and you can follow me on twitter and facebook at wrestling days uk 
Cool guys, thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for supporting, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.